In this video, we'll cover all the basics of configuring the DX Pivot Grid widget. As an example, we'll implement a pivot grid containing shop orders data for a period of time. The pivot grid can be used to analyze this large data and understand it in general. Like any widget from the DevExtreme library, the DX Pivot Grid widget can be added using the jQuery, AngularJS, or Knockout approach. Here, I'm using the jQuery approach. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, jQuery, Globalize, and WebAppJS. I've also referenced the WebAppJS styles that correspond to the light theme. Now we need to add the DX Pivot Grid widget onto a page and set up a data source for it. I've already prepared an array of objects representing information on orders. Let's assign this array to the widget's datasource.store configuration option. Let's see how the DX Pivot Grid looks with the specified data and default settings. As you can see, the Pivot Grid shows the built-in grand total column only. To display data, right-click any space of the Pivot Grid to enable the Field Chooser and drag and drop fields from the All Fields list to the Row Fields, Column Fields, and Data Fields areas. Row and column areas are linked with the corresponding grid headers. Since we put more than one field into an area, they will form a hierarchy. The data area contains the measured parameters. Each pivot grid cell contains data field values summarized in the conditions defined by the corresponding row and column header item. Although the fields are available, they have default configuration and cannot be used for analysis. Let's see how to configure dimensional, like row, column, and filter, and the measure or data fields. Dimensional fields are used to form conditions for calculating summary values displayed in the pivot grid cells. To configure these fields, let's assign an array to the pivot grid data sources fields option. Here are field options. The name of the data source field containing data for the pivot grid field, the type of the field values, the type of the area where the field should be placed, if this option is not set, the field will be available in the field chooser only. This option specifies how field values should be combined into groups, and the name of the folder in the All Fields section of the field chooser. Since we defined the fields array, the automatic fields generation can be switched off by setting the Retrieve Fields option to false. Now let's see how the pivot grid row and column headers are filled with data. All right, I'm going to define data fields and get summary values calculated in the conditions defined by the header items. To do this, I'll define the average freight and count measures. The area, data field, data type, caption, display folder, and format options have the same meaning as the dimension options. I've also set the summary type option that defines a method to aggregate field data. As you can see, I didn't define the data field for the count field. This is because the summary type is set to count, and so any field can be used for counting with an identical result. Now let's run the resulting code to see the pivot grid filled with data. Finally, let's give an end user more interaction capabilities. To do this, I'll specify the allow expand all, allow filtering, allow sorting, and allow sorting by summary options. And let's see the result in a browser. To invoke a context menu of a column or row menu, right-click a column or row header. Select a required action. I can expand all rows, collapse them, or sort data in ascending or descending order. I can also sort columns by summary values.
In addition, I can change filtering options in the field chooser. And that's it. To learn more about elements of the DX Pivot Grid widget and the ways to customize them, refer to the corresponding documentation at devexpress.com. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.